This is the webinar for setting up the provider list after a post-conversion setup. Setting up your provider list will get many provider settings ready for work and also clean up any clutter left over from a conversion. We'll be covering essentials such as making sure we have DEA numbers, MBI numbers, and other information essential for sending out electronic claims, printed or electronic prescriptions. We can also define what color appointments we'll display as on the schedule. Let's take a look. We're going to start in lists and providers. We're going to check this box so we can see how many patients are assigned to each one. Let's start at the top. We'll double click and see. I can tell by this social security number and the state license number, this is my main provider. Let's enter his information in. We'll enter his name and his abbreviation. We'll also enter his birth date. Social security number is correct. State license number is correct. State we're licensed and DE number are both correct. We don't have a state prescription ID and we don't have a Medicaid ID for this provider. The MPI is correct. Our term date. This is where we can choose a date that the provider will no longer be active. After the term date is ended, the provider will be unable to schedule or complete appointments, create prescriptions, or even send new claims. The appointment color. This will choose what color that their appointments show as on the schedule. Let's choose this red. We can also choose an outline color so that when we've selected an appointment, the outline will be that color. We'll leave it at black. Claim billing provider override. This is where we can choose another provider to send out claims under, even though this provider has completed the procedures. Hourly production goal. We can enter in a production goal and the software will automatically do the math for how many hours are scheduled that day and then add it to the daily goal. We can choose a specific fee schedule for each provider. This doctor will be using the standard. If they have a specialty, we can choose that here. This is our general dentist for the office. Our scheduling note. When the user clicks on an operatory header in the appointment schedule on a day the provider is scheduled, text entered here will display in the operatory header dropdown next to that provider's scheduled time. Custom IDs, useful for third-party reporting. Taxonomy code override. This is to override any of the specialties. Anesthesia provider groups. This is optional. And if assigned, this provider will populate the corresponding dropdowns in the anesthesia record. These checkboxes, this will define them as a secondary provider, a hygienist only. Signature on file, this is very useful for when sending electronic claims. Not a person. Some offices send out claims under the entity rather than the provider themselves. If this office was working that way, we create another provider for the entity and check it as not a person. Hidden. Like many areas of Open Dental, we don't delete anything, we just hide them. We can also hide this provider just on reports. And if this provider is going to prescribe electronic prescriptions, we would check this box for that. We can enter supplemental IDs, very useful for some specific insurance companies. And if using our web scheduling feature, we can enter a description for this provider and even attach a picture. Let's move on. This is our secondary provider. Let's go ahead and correct their information. We'll enter in their name and their abbreviation that we want to see in Open Dental. We 
along with their birth date and social security number. State license number is correct. DA number, they do not have a Medicaid ID, but we will enter their MPI. They do not have a term date, but we do want to change their appointment color. Let's go with yellow. We won't change their outline color, but we are going to change their fee schedule. They use a specific cash only fee schedule. Everything else looks correct. We'll go and save it. We only have two doctors and the hygienist. I can see this is our hygienist. So let's go ahead and hide this provider. Here's our hygienist. Let's go ahead and update her information. Because they are hygienists only, we don't need as much information as we do for the doctors. We will change their appointment color though. Let's go with this shade of blue. We will choose our specialty as hygienist and we're gonna check the box as a secondary provider. The rest of these providers, they can be hidden. Now let's make sure all of our patients are assigned to the correct providers. We can see that there's a few patients here assigned to these hidden providers. Let's go and assign them to Dr. Holiday. So we'll choose his name from this list. This is the provider we're moving them to. And where we're moving them from, and we'll move the primary patients. Now let's do this for all our secondary patients. We're gonna be moving them to Ms. Newman. We'll select her name from this list. And then move secondary patients. Now that we've got all of our patients assigned, all of our unneeded providers hidden. We can reorder this list just to clean it up a little bit. We'll move our hygienist up a little bit, and that looks better. Let's take a look at the schedule and see how those colors affected it. This looks much better. Now the appointments assigned to the providers are their associated color. This concludes setting up the provider list after a post-conversion setup. Thank you for joining us for today's webinar. If you have any additional questions, please contact our support line at 503-363-5432 or access our complete online manual at opendental.com. And make sure you're staying up to date on our latest training videos by subscribing to our channel and turning on notifications.